Namaste, I am Dr. Rashmi Gowda. I am a senior homeopathy consultant at Raghav's Homeopathy Multi-Speciality Clinic. I am having around 18 years of homeopathic medical practice experience. I have worked amongst various corporate homeopathy clinics all over India. We are having around three branches. One is at Banergatta Road and the second one is at BTM Layout and the third branch is at Maratha Halli. In today's world, Hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism is the major concern which we can tell. Especially the females are the more sufferers of this thyroid disorder. Thyroid is a gland which is present in front of the neck. It is a butter-shaped gland. It has right lobe and the left lobe. Thyroid gland secretes mainly two hormones called as T3 and T4. The amount of T3 and T4 secretion will be decided by thyroid stimulating hormone which in turn get the signals from the pituitary gland in the brain. Whenever there is an hormonal imbalance in thyroid stimulating hormone, the values when it increases, the normal value of the TSH is 0.5 to 5.5. Whenever the level goes above 5.5, the condition is called as hypothyroidism. That is, the thyroid gland is not functioning normally. Therefore, the TSH values are constantly increasing. Whenever the value reduces to lesser than 0.5 or it reduces below 0.1, then we call it as an hyperthyroidism. That is, the thyroid gland is overworking. That is why the TSH hormone values are gradually reducing. Both are two different type of conditions where in hypothyroidism we see the person or the individual is gaining weight, losing hair, skin becomes dry, she'll be very depressed, then she will have a pot bellied abdomen, she'll have constipation, then she will have periods irregularity. In case of females, we see infertility, then also obesity, stretch marks, dryness of the skin, acne, these are all wide range of symptoms which we commonly see in hypothyroidism. The exactly opposite symptoms happens in hyperthyroidism where the TSH values will be lesser than 0.5. Here, in spite of the patient is eating healthy amount of food also, he will be constantly losing weight. He will be very anxious and nervous. He will be sweating a lot. He will be having loose motions. He will be having steatoria. That is, he will be losing fat in the stools. In spite of eating healthy, in spite of eating in a very good quantity, his weight loss is one of the common symptoms. Along with this, he will be losing weight, his hairs will be very oily and greasy, then he will have a sunken face, then cholesterol level will be altering, then his sleep will be disturbed, he will be having lots of anxiety, stress, suddenly he will become too depressed and suddenly he will become too anxious, he will be having weakness in the joint because of thyroid fluctuations. We see that the insulin hormone secretion also varies. Infertility is one of the major, major reasons for thyroid issues. For any kind of thyroid condition, for example, there is a condition called a swelling of the thyroid gland. This is called as goiter. Goiter occurs whenever there is an iodine deficiency in our body, which we usually take through iodized salt. Sometimes we see that there is a nodule formation in the thyroid. Sometimes we see there is a cystic formation in the thyroid. Among 1% of the cases, we see the cancerous condition. There is also a condition called as thyrotoxicosis. In thyrotoxicosis, the TSH hormones varies. Sometimes it will be very high and all of a sudden, sometimes it will be very low. Because of this, there will be an inflammation in the thyroid gland. Also, this is called as thyroiditis, which in turn leads to thyrotoxicosis also. For any kind of thyroid issues, whether it may be goiter, hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, thyroiditis, nodules or cystic gland, you have a complete cure through Raghav's homeopathy clinic. Here we are going to give you constitutional medicines where any of the issues related to your thyroid gland will be addressed and so you can lead a healthy life. If at all the patient is already taking an alternative system of medicines, in spite of that the symptoms are still persisting along with alternative system of medicine, they can definitely take homeopathy medicines so that the thyroid levels will come back to the normal and the precipitating symptoms will slowly and gradually come down and hence we can slowly and gradually taper the alternate system of medicines so that we can show the wonderful results through homeopathy.